Hello everyone, it is MechLord, I hope you all had a delightful weekend, I know I sure did, but unfortunately, th 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 this has all been ruined by the fact that I had to play Duel Links. Today, today's new floor deck is, is um, Dinosaurs, where we're playing Dinosaurs with the Fleur engine, I don't know if it's fair to call it an engine, it's basically, well, it can be a deck of its own, but right there we're just using it as an engine. Uh, because of some really cool synergies like, you know, Surge the Player popping a Baby Cerasaurus just gets you an additional body on the field, which is pretty cool. But also, you can still make the Beatrice combo, sending Survival's End and uh, thanks to Myth having a body on board for the Survival's End to, to pop two cards, one of which is going to be the Baby Cerasaurus. That's going to float into maybe another Misk, maybe Giant Rex, maybe even uh, Megalo Smasher X, that's... We also playing. Also, Survival's End is really funny against Blue Eyes very specifically because it just popped their monster. I, I, I think that's pretty funny. The rest of the deck list is pretty standard. This is taken straight from the first place of the Quantum Dailies uh, tournament. One of the Quantum Dailies tournaments that happened recently. Playing dinosaurs over, you know, zombies, orcust, uh, uh, I was going to say Crystron, Necros, etc. That, that, it's more fun to me, so I'm going to show you a couple of replays so you can see exactly how this deck plays. This first duel here is going to be against Blue Eyes, everyone's favorite deck that uh, Reddit is still complaining about. Oh wait, no, I think they're in the phase where they're, they're saying this deck is actually weak and, and garbo and not good at all because it didn't uh, do so well in WCQ. So anyway, we did uh, get to go first. So I'm going to activate Fossil Dig, get a Miscellaneousaurus to my hand. I'm going to normal summon the Baby Cerasaurus and activate the Revolution Doppler scale to put a Necro Synchron on my field. I'm going to use the Necro Synchron effect to raise the level of Baby Cerasaurus by two, which allows me to Synchro into the six planted rows. That's a very little, little trick for you out there. Baby Cerasaurus uh, works pretty good with Necro Synchron as well. So, Necrosynchron is going to summon, you know, this part is going to summon a copy plant from the deck, and then a uh, copy plant becomes level 6, and then we overlay for Beatrice. Wow, we have you seen this play before? Beatrice is going to detach and a Giant Rex. I am going to discard my Miscellaneousaurus and banish the Giant Rex and itself for a Baby Cerasaurus, and then I'm going to special the Giant Rex for its effect, and in base, the uh, Baby Cerasaurus is going to pop itself and special summon another Misk. I could have sent a Survival's End uh, right out the gate and just uh, used the Misk in hand to special a baby which would have popped itself for another baby so I would have had two Survival's End and Graves and a baby on the field I would have been able to use twice because Survival's End uh, doesn't check, doesn't care if uh, the, the target on your side of the field is popped on resolution. You can target a baby Cerasaurus with two different survivals and, and it will still pop two cards, is what I'm trying to say. Anyway, it's just, uh, just my turn one and board Beatrice, Giant Rex, and uh, Misk. I'm gonna send a survival end immediately with Beatrice. Uh, my opponent is gonna allow me to pick which version of. No, oh, it's a random, but uh, they added the blue eyes to hand, pitching a melody to add alternative and another blue eyes, they're gonna summon the alternative there. At this moment, I just, I made a mistake. I shouldn't have activated survival's end there. My opponent is gonna respond with successor soul, tributing the alternative in order to, well, force me to basically get rid of two cards. So I only have one giant rex left on the field, wasted my survival's end. And because my setup was not ideal, I don't have any more disruption for the turn. My opponent is going to search and activate the ultimate fusion for Blue Eyes Twin Burst Dragon. Uh, but because they're an idiot, they did not read uh, the path of Successor Soul that says you can only attack with one monster this turn. Which is really good for me. Because now I just get to a Miscellaneousaurus. I'm just going to call it Misc. Banishing two, including a Giant Rex for the baby Cerasaurus Giant Rex is going to come back. On my side of the field, I'm going to activate the Soul to Player effect, popping the Baby Cerasaurus and the Twin Burst Dragon. Baby is going to float into a Misk. Giant Rex and Misk are going to become Evolzor Lagia. Then I'm going to normal summon the Sorcia de Fleur, activate the effect that is mandatory for uh, nothing at all. And then I'm going to Exceed into it in Gearsu, 
so I can clear the Dragon Spirit of White that could have tagged out at any given moment for a Blue Eyes. If they do that now, unfortunately, uh, because Dengesu doesn't target, I'm just going to get to clear their field anyway. So just, just remove this, attack it directly with Lagia and with the Dengesu for lethal. So that's suboptimal gameplay. I could and should have done better, and I'm going to show you better, actually. This year, duel is going to be against agents. Free enough agents at COG. COG ladder, someone playing free enough agents. Someone playing like the absolute best deck of the current format. That is going to get eviscerated in like four days and just be like, oh, that's what I want to play in COG. I'm like, sure, you do you, King. Anyway, um, I open Misk again, and you know, this time I'm going to be able to normal summon it. Necrosynchron, make these splendid rows. You know the line basically at this stage. Um, but well, this time I have drawn IDP, which is also really good. And another Misk that I'm going to maybe be able to use also. I am going to discard Misk and then banish Misk and Misk for Baby Cerosaurus. Beatrice sending one Survival Zen to the grave. Setting in phase, Misk is going to... Uh, the Baby Cerosaurus summoned by Misk, rather, is going to float into another baby. And then uh, in the draw phase, I'm going to Beatrice send another survival zen. So I have three disruptions uh, accounting for the Ice Dragon Prison. That's basically two disruptions if you if you play optimally like I just did, uh, which is rare for me because uh, I'm an idiot. Anyway, I'm going to ITP immediately after they activate Neptune to revive the Venus that they sent to grave with the scale. Then they're going to normal a Venus, at which point I'm just going to survival zen, pop baby and the Venus, baby Cerosaurus for another baby Cerosaurus. They're going to set one. And in the end phase, I'm going to pop this too, <laughs> because I can. <laughs> I was a compost, I was going to be a misc, and my opponent is going to concede. It was a bit of a quick game, but I just wanted to really showcase the, uh, the, the, the turn 1 setup that you should aim for. Playing as optimally as possible, and so not being an idiot like I am. Do you think that is what Konami envisioned when they made this this completely bonkers kill? Do you think they were like, yes, this is how we get people to uh, invest in whichever main box Misk came in or three copies of Misk? This skill is is absurd. Um, I don't think the deck, like any version of the, the the any deck using this engine, I don't think any of them should be able to like just be Beatrice Turbo. I get that this is cool to see and stuff, and it enables you know dinosaurs and uh, all the archetypes that care about the graveyards, the zombies and orcas first and foremost. But I also don't think this is like particularly interesting, you know, as a, as a scale design. I think a fair way to know the scale would be to remove the necroflare that gets summoned for free, and restrict the extra deck to. Synchros and links. I think I'm okay with this deck being able to summon synchros and links. I don't think that you should be able to get a free Dengesu because you open Surge the Flood going second. You know, I don't think this is cool. Other than that, I don't know. Keep cooking with this skill, I guess. I don't know. We'll see. Let me know what you think about this deck once again in the comments. Thank you for watching, have a lovely rest of the Sunday, that is today, or the, the rest of the day if you're not watching this on a Sunday, and I will see you all next time.